everybody. It's another exciting episode of Foreskin Radio, www.foreskinradio.com, motherfuckers. And I'm joined here by the baddest motherfuckers from Red Deer. What's your name, people? Sex Party. Sex Party. Mmm. Okay. Newest thing to the West Coast. <laughs> So you, you just got you guys just moved from uh, Red Deer to Vancouver. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just Red Deer is crazy. It's not not into weirder music. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, we, we played <laughs> right. there a whole bunch, and yeah. But there's lots of cool people. Lots of cool people. The people, but there's great. a lot more here. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really like the way you guys incorporate electronics. Like, that's fucking wicked. We've been lacking that on the West Coast. I'm really glad that you guys bought it uh, down here. Actually, you guys want to know, um, Nivek Ogre from Skinny Puppy, he was from Calgary, actually. Yeah. Yeah, and then he came out here. I know, and he just played a bit ago, and I just moved here. I was broke. I couldn't go to the show. I wish. I'm a fucking huge Skinny Puppy and Ogre fan. Listen to our interview. We uh, talked to him on the Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's sick, man. That's I, cool. <laughs> I, um, yeah, they, they lived here for a while, too. He's actually looking for it. Anyways, looking so, for a place out here, but enough about Skinny Puppy. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. guys. you guys are what's important. Sorry, I like Skinny Puppy. <laughs> it's okay. I do, too. Uh, Paige, Paige, what'd you think of the evening? Fun. It was like better than um, I think uh, anything in Red Deer. <laughs> what, what did you think of the crowd? Like they were they oh, they, they, fun, they look really into it. Yeah, they were yeah, they were fun. Think, they were dancing. I think they moving. Dug it. It was good. There's lots of interesting people. That's what I always yeah. want. May she got them pretty pretty hot. Pretty they were good. They yeah. played a really tight set. It was oh, awesome. Yeah. And but, that parachute. How much? How much? How much sex appeal do you guys need to put on stage? Like, do you have a quota or anything? Or you just like, like I don't it has even to be know. Sexy. It, depend, it depends or, on the day. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the day, the amount of liquor and drugs, <laughs> or whatever was going on. Sometimes there's a lot more. Sometimes it's bad. Well, Tonight we really started trying to not drink so much. Oh really? Yeah. Well, well we you ended up on the floor. Why were you on the floor? I, did, I missed that. You were on the floor at one point. Yeah, you left your I keyboards. Was, and I was, um... Or were you playing with the pedals I was playing, or something? I was playing yeah, this was wave cool. generator that his dad gave him. Because <laughs> his dad's into electronics. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, basically you just adjust a pitch with the machine and do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> laying on the ground doing that because I was a little bit tired. <laughs> I smoked a bunch of weed with you guys before. Does that smoke weed contribute to the creative process? That's oh, what we've been discussing We just discussed lately. it yesterday. yesterday. This was a yesterday things. discussion for sure. Yeah. And um, that, no, normally, if we have a good day and go and jam out a tune that's going to be good and happen fast, We'll get ripped and go there. Yeah. It's just the way it works to write the music, to to replay, and get serious with what you're doing after that. Then you need to have a clear head, but if we want to go and write something, I like to just go there so ripped. Yeah, except I'm a, um, out I'm, on the weed as of late. <laughs> he is doing binaural experiments okay. right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Letting sound machine, other things, you know. Yeah. like a band that like you know kind of goes sober you notice a change in their sound oh yeah for oh, sure yeah. I don't know, I think it's more of like not such a free-floating kind of thing. I think you get, when you get a little bit more sober, you get a little bit more structured in your ways. You don't, oh yeah. You don't flow with the emotions as much, I find. Like, you know, when you're, 
doing some drugs, I'm drinking alcohol. You, you just you flow, man. You well, don't, you don't sweet, really. It's sweet to mix. I'm not. Calculate. I don't need to be fucked all the time. No. But I sure like to be sometimes. So how, how does the song or the uh, the lyric uh, part of the the music? It, is is that something that you write? That's uh, you know you need to be a little in a different headspace, or do you? No, write no it? I just write it all day long. Yeah. Whatever. I just think of things and write them down. I just have a little book. Honestly, it's not, it's not like interesting or anything, but I, I like, <laughs> I just have a book and then I think of things and then I read my book. I don't know. I think it is. See, the funny out, thing like, is we don't, we don't discuss it, really, because there's not much of a need to. She basically, we write the music, she sings to it. I read it after. We don't even really discuss it. I'm kind of good at that. I really like it that way. Well, we keep our own private part to it, and I can just enjoy it. Yeah, that's Look. And I, and I like... <laughs> I didn't even know what Jason was saying or anything in any of it until I think like I read it in the CD book. But All right. We don't talk anymore. <laughs> so like you just <laughs> get together in a room and and you bang out the music and then you do you, do you search for the right lyrics to find you know the right you know. No, you just whatever happens happens. Yeah, yeah. And like and yeah. song. <laughs> I mean, like it's not like we're not diligent. Like I mean, we're there three to four days yeah. a week doing whatever. But I mean. It's not like, not like we really oh, get intense about it. Let's yeah, just yeah. I don't need to sit and it. talk with her about it. I'm <laughs> enjoyed enough that someone <laughs> yeah, else can fun. listen to it, and so can I separately. It doesn't need right. to become yeah. some. Eh, fuck! It would be so complicated if it had to be like. I don't like what you're that. talking about there, Paige. I think that that's gonna <laughs> yeah. have to be. Yeah, that, that that's our band. You know, it's, we want to be fun. It's not. It's not meant to be like a really super yeah right. It's deep. supposed to be a sex party for Christ. Yeah, I'm just come in and hang just out and fucking, dance or fuck. whatever. You know, like, <laughs> like when he does his stuff over top, he'll just ask her, "What do you say at that part?" And then she'll just say it, and then he just puts whatever. Just his brain along, is so fucking everywhere. <laughs> 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 Mine don't really make sense very much. Yeah, I'm trying to do something about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> You bring a lot of energy to the stage performance. You're out there in the crowd. You're jumping off of things like, like uh, how, like, uh, I don't even know. If there's a question there. You just do that. So like, like um, so, uh, you really go with the flow and the vibe there, right? Eh? Uh, what are how do you feel when you do that? Like, when yeah. you notice the di uh, difference with the audience? I don't really notice the audience very much, or what's going on. <laughs> if you check out his bass, it's got like this much foam padding on it. Yeah, I Just put a bunch case. of padding on. I didn't use it tonight, but I, on my other bass, I got a bunch of padding because. I would just like bruising my hip and stuff. When <laughs> yeah. We were, yeah, when we came here yeah, last time, it was like <laughs> just big around, like, you know, like <laughs> around, just like smashing all the time. Like. You guys bleed for your art. <laughs> yeah, but I had I, I had so. the most enjoyable evening about two weeks ago. We played at this coffee shop, <laughs> and he has that wireless bass, and he just walked outside and went out on the street out on me. <laughs> and it's there's like people dancing. there's people trying to walk by him and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like spinning, living it up, so happy. He couldn't <laughs> give a care shit about anything in the world. And I got to watch that from the window inside the building while we were playing. And it was so enjoyable. It was the most relaxing, best free-spirited thing I ever felt. It was awesome. <laughs> So bad that it's a wasted before an interview, hey? Isn't okay, it? No, it's, it's cool. That's just <laughs> kind of goes with the flow of what we do. People have just arrived here, so we're uh, going to be cutting out yeah. now. It's Dr. Look a lot of Puss with Foreskin Radio with the crew, sex party. Wave them goodbye, motherfuckers. Bye. Woo!